question whether Allah, since we worship different God, is not the God of death because because Quran in its manifestation, then I can say, since there's no, where is the place in the universe, let's say, because we, we agree in a friendly way that we don't worship the same God, right? Okay, I, I understand yeah? your point, right? Oh, wait, let me finish this point. Okay. If we don't worship I, I, the same I don't, God... I don't understand where you're going with this. You do? I don't, I don't understand So what... let me tell you, I'm almost finished. Okay. If we don't worship the same God, yes. and I just explained to you how the resurrection, what's the point of resurrection for every human being on earth, yeah. then, then you have to ask yourself a question whether the entity which you call God is not the being that actually rules over the world of the dead, yeah. when in fact crucifixion did not take place, and in fact there's the concept of that crucifixion was somewhere there, yeah. but the Christ just went to heaven because the, because crucifixion okay. did not happen in the world of the dead I, after we die, I, but here in the physical okay. world where we can overcome okay. our immortal state. I understand your point, right? Yeah. So you have an issue that in Islam there's no atonement for sin because we can go straight to heaven, right? In no, the book of no, no, but that's the point that you made. If you go to the book of Samuel, Second Samuel, right? Chapter number twelve, verse number thirteen. Nathan was forgiven without any blood sacrifice. Okay. Okay. Hold on, Mushu. Hold on, because I'd like to know where you're coming with this. I have sinned against the Lord. The Lord has taken. Away. And who's the Lord? You have to, who, when you say Lord, who do you mean the Lord? It's your Bible. No, but who's the Lord? You, you told me it's your okay, Bible. Okay, I can tell you. Uh, if you, if you, since you pull this out, yeah. Now uh, pull out Isaiah 44 verses 6. Okay. I mean, you did it. I did not want to go into uh, into scripture. But you asked, you, 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 started, you brought up the so Quran. Go into scripture. You did bring up Isaiah the Quran. Isaiah 44 verses 6. You, you did bring up the Quran. Yeah, yeah I brought Quran, as I said. Uh, Which we, is scripture. We, because we because we are at least we're on an honest level where we don't worship the same entity. Yeah, but I, yeah? I, I don't understand what point you're trying to make here. The point I'm trying to make that if we had to reconcile and you speaking if you yeah. represent different God from mine, yeah. therefore we have to find the rightful place and that's why I ask you which God you coming from? Who is your and God? I, I told yes, you. Yes, because then because then uh, uh, let's say with the true concept of crucifixion I was trying to show you yeah. that in fact that concept does exist in the human so once the human soul is dead, it's no longer is able to become alive. Yeah. Here on earth, we have a we have ability to become to overcome by renouncing ourselves by who we are, by by renouncing our needs and our wants and everything else, yeah. and follow Christ. This is the way to overcome uh, our uh, the mortality within. But Nathan was forgiven without doing any of that. But you say the Lord, so I'm asking. Yeah. You, so here, uh, forty-four verses. The Lord is six, Israel's six, king. Yeah. The Lord Almighty. I am the first, and I am the last. No, no. Here, here. And the Redeemer, the Lord Almighty. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Lord Almighty, and also it is also in addition, it says the Lord of Hosts. Yeah. So the Lord, actually, the Redeemer is also the Lord, is the Christ, because the Lord and the Redeemer, the Lord, the 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 the, the King, the Lord, uh, which is I, the I, the Lord, the King of Israel, and His Redeemer, the Lord of Hosts, are the first and the last. There's no God besides Him. Is that correct? I, I don't understand what what does that have to do with the fact that here because the Lord when he speaks of Lord he speaks actually of Christ it was the Christ Moses, that are forgiven it so wasn't this it wasn't Moses. it wasn't it wasn't the Most High and here is why there was the Most High that's true Moses because, before the Lord because he now you say we're speaking with different gods and uh, this is why it's so fascinating to me do you know that let's say that we as Christians we follow let's say I, I don't uh, I don't I don't John. I don't think you're addressing the point with all due respect what Nathan was forgiven without any blood sacrifice yes. this um, is. This is, I told you, it speaks of Lord, he, he speaks he of repen Christ. He repented, just like the Muslims do, he repented and he was forgiven. He repented he didn't make a sacrifice. He didn't make a sacrifice, Christ was alive at that time. Yeah, the Christ, I'll tell you why, how we know it. It's because, as, as you know, Christians believe that the whole universe, which is in the, in the Gospel of John, we do believe that the whole world was created through Christ himself, through the, through the Christ word. Himself. That one speaks that before the world was created, there was a word, and the word was God, and the word was with God, and everything was created through it. So the, yeah, the through so him, not by him. Yes, by him, yeah. So we, we believe yeah, that the whole the world, come, come the whole world, no, you don't, the word, this is not, I'm not trying to put you down. No, no, no it's not. It's, it's, it fascinates me because, because my point is to identify who is your God, who is your Lord, because our Lord is the one I told no, you that that is that that Christ do, uh, is consubstantial with, and it, and is the one that it is Christ who is the Lord of hosts I, who created everything. But I, I think we're going on a tangent, okay? Jesus at this time did not die. There was no blood sacrifice. 
Nathan was forgiven without any single sacrifice. And I don't think, with all due respect, Samuel I don't think Samuel is your Old Testament, point. is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, so it was before the Christ incarnated into this yeah, world. Yeah, so he was... There was incarnation. You, you Muslims do recognize... No, can, can I, that, can I just that, make the point? Yeah, yeah. He was forgiven just simply by repenting. Correct. So if you have an issue with Muslims doing that, why do no, you not have an issue I don't with have, No, no, hear, hear me out, hear me out. First of all, I'm a Christian, I'm not a Jew. Yeah. Okay, that's I, one. I understand, but you believe yeah. in this book, you believe this event happened. Yeah. Uh, somebody well, actually, was forgiven. Actually, if, if personally, personally, when you're speaking of Old Testament, I actually, when, when it speaks about uh, the Holy Temple being desecrated, yeah. desecration actually, I would agree that it is a desecration through, uh, through certain blasphemous things that are being uh, that are inserted in the New in Old Testament. But, however, however, that doesn't change the fact that you still you say we're representing different gods. And what I'm saying to you that my God is above any concept. Therefore, it won't be able to speak to anyone because because it is above is above you. Uh, you're unable to conceive it. Is is because it's unconceivable. And the same way is unnameable. Your God is unnameable. Your God has name. Yeah. My God, there was no one to name that God because it's the highest. Yahweh. Therefore, no, I didn't say that. Listen okay. what I'm saying. Listen what I'm saying. The highest God is the one that there was no one there to name him. Well, there was no how, one. Hold on. How does that address this though? Here, please hear me out. There was no one there to conceive him. Yeah. Okay. There was no one there to any way to comprehend him because there was he's the highest, he's the source, he's the above everything. And we understand that the Christ is the creative force, is yeah. the one that has created everything. It's the Christ being. You're referring to Christ being. Now those days Christ being was not incarnated into the physical form. It doesn't mean that did not exist. They did not manifest uh, what, 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 spiritually how we did manifest through visions. I, I, I think we're going, on, the we're going on a lot of a tangent. This, this is preaching. Go on. We're going on a big No, no, tangent. no, I'm not preaching, but go on. No, but you're making a lot of points, right? The point I made, Nathan was forgiven simply by repenting, just like the Muslims do. He didn't, there was no blood sacrifice. He didn't sacrifice anything. Nobody died for his sins. He simply repented and was forgiven. Okay. So why is it now that you're saying Jesus had to come and die for your sins when Nathan was forgiven without any of that? Well, first of all, can I speak in the name of God? That's one. Yeah. Two, as I was trying to say. First of all, you do not know you are not going to die. Yes? Yeah. It says you are not going to die. Yeah. So here's the, isn't, isn't the word of Christ will speak, repent, and all the, all the, 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 the to repent is, is, the most, is the most common uh, phrase you can hear from Christians, to repent from the sins. This was without any blood sacrifice. Huh? This was without any blood sacrifice. But, but what do you mean by blood sacrifice? Christians do not make blood sacrifice. You believe that Jesus died for your sins. And that's why you can be forgiven and overcome mortality. No, what, what we believe, I just told you, that because we're in a mortal state, and you can okay. overcome that by believing Jesus died for your sins. No, and following it the showed footsteps. us a way. It shows the way. Since let's say this is obviously somebody with direct, let's say direct contact, uh, direct interaction with the divine. Yes. Yeah. Do you have direct intervention with yes. divine? You have direct. Uh, so you know God directly. Every Muslim does. Directly, you, you, ask, you actually you can, know. You know. What, what do you mean by know God directly? Exactly. What, what, that's what I mean. What, what do you mean do by that? Do you actually consciously, the same way you know your, let's say your, your brothers, your sisters, your parents. What, what, what do, do you, you know mean directly by that? God? What, what do you mean by know Him directly? Knowing directly meaning, I just told you, like, so do you know your family members? Yes. Okay. Do you know the same way God? Are you asking? Do I sit with God? Do I have a conversation? No. Do you see? Can you see Him the same no, way? No, I can't see God. Okay. Okay, so therefore, the same many many honest Christians will say the same thing. No, I haven't seen it. However, it showed us the way how to set ourselves free from mortal state. But That's Nathan, all there's to it. Nathan, he, is, he was here direct interaction with the divine. Okay, was there a, was there somebody that died for his sins at this point? Huh? Was there someone that died for his sins? No, there wasn't. There wasn't. Well, in fact, in fact, it says because, in fact, in fact, if he would not repent, the saints would make him die. Did anyone die for his sins? Let, let's be genuine. Did anyone die for his sins? Nathan, when he repented, well, was actually, it? again, again. So I'm saying to you, let, it let's, says, let's, let's, let's be genuine. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's be genuine. Did anyone so die if, for his sins? So did did he repent from his sins? Yes. If he wouldn't repent from his sins, would he die? Yeah. Okay. Did he? Did somebody die for his sins? To be forgiven. Did somebody die for his sins? Just like Jesus died for your sins. Yes. Did anyone die for Nathan's sins? Well, is it, okay. That's a good question. Again, when, when, uh, did, did this, did he, did he eventually die? Did, 
Nathan, right? Yeah. Then he died, exactly. Everyone dies. Everyone dies. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second. When, I, again, so we all experience death. Yes. Yes? yes. We all experience death. Everyone does. Everyone does. Yeah. So he, even if he did not die, meaning he still went to a base because he experienced death. So then... Everyone so who experienced, just like you experienced wait, wait, food... Wait, you, you, you said something interesting. Can I, can I get, can I get the, You said, yeah, he still died. So when the Lord said that he's taken away his sin and he's not going to die, was that a lie? No. He didn't die, but, he didn't die, but doesn't mean he was taken up to heaven either. What I'm saying to you is very simple. That I told you before, when Christ, when Christ, uh, when his body expired on the cross, he, Christ descended to abyss to lift up every holy prophet, including Adam, out of abyss. So, and and here's the interesting thing: as a Muslim, man, this is the reason I'm asking, who is your God? Because if I'm going to ask you right now, do you believe that Christ is Son of God? What would you tell no. me? And do you know who says that? Who? Satan. Okay, no problem. I tell you why, because Satan says, uh, Satan says he's not when 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 he not, when Christ upon descending up into a base, uh, the angels would knock at the gates and demanding to, for the gates of of a base to be open, the the devil and the Satan would communicate and say he's not son of God. He, we don't know who he is, and they said to be fearful because the angels. Uh, along with Christ, had the power to open I, the gates. I, Hold on, answer. So the way you speak is the same way, like Satan we're, speaks. We're not having a conversation, are we? We're, we're not having a one-on-one -on -one conversation, are we? Go on. No, it's a conversation. Okay, so because it so seems... know who's it, your God. It seems, to, line, so know who's your it God. seems to me that you're, you're trying to deny the statement, you are not going to die. No, no, I didn't. So what does it mean, you're not going to die? What does that they're mean? They're not going to die, that he won't perish. Okay, did he perish? No, he didn't perish. And but did, let's say he was he lifted up to heaven. Did, did somebody die? Did he go into the abyss? Yes. Anyone who experienced death, every single human being that experiences death go, is, goes to this, goes to the world of the dead. So then why did, every single one. Why did God say to him, you're not going to die? What? Why did God say to him, you're not going because, to die? Because even if the holy prophets were in the base, they still were alive. They didn't die. But God says, yeah, God says you're not going to die. Yeah. No one. No, doesn't mean, doesn't mean, I told you, doesn't mean that in fact they were, they, they were resurrected. Do you understand? I didn't say so the, the whole concept of Christianity is resurrection. So from the mortal state. And what I'm trying to say to you is this. So when I'm asking, who is your God? Because you keep trying, asking that and I've answered yeah. that before. No. Well, who's Yahweh according to Islam? According to Islam. No, no, Yahweh. 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 Who's, who is Yahweh? We, we don't. God? We don't know. We don't believe this. No. God. no. Why are the prophets? That's that, I don't want to interrupt. But why is the prophets uh, name like Isaiah? Yeah. Why do they have Yahweh in their in their name? That's why I don't understand according to Islam. The, the, but I don't want to interrupt. Yeah, but that's guys. according to the Old Testament. The Old Testament was written. You guys don't accept the Old Testament. No. We don't. You got. So we don't believe in it. You guys don't believe in it. No. So I want I want to show you something. You, could you please put second letter second Corinthians four four verses four? Because I want to know. I want to show you. No, the reason I want to show you this is very simple. I told you I'm objective and I'm not your enemy. I would like to know whether this identifies your God, the, and if not, the, show the me God, how. The God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ through the image of God. Are you saying this? This? Uh, how is this my God? Now I'm asking: Is it your God? Because that's exactly what. Uh, that's what, uh, from objectively speaking, that's what Quran does to to a uh, New Testament. What does it do to it? Yes, it does exactly. Look, look. It says right here. The God of this age, or a different translation is yeah. of this world. Yeah. Yeah. Has blinded minds of the unbelievers, yeah. so they cannot see the light of the gospel. Yeah. So it speaks about the light of the gospel. Which gospel? Yeah. The gospel. Which gospel? Paul has his own gospel. Which one? Okay. And display and displays the glory of Christ, who is the I, image I, I, of God. I, I don't. I don't. So I don't is think... in Islam. Is in Islam Christ the image of God? Well, what's your name, by the way? Yatsik. Yeah, Yatsik. I don't think you're addressing the point. Yeah. I've I've asked a few times now when like it's getting a bit repetitive. You go back to the same thing. Because right? I've I've asked quite a few times. It's getting quite repetitive. Yeah. yeah. Nathan, I thought I answered to you. Huh? I thought I answered to you. You didn't. Because I, I keep I keep saying Nathan was forgiven. 
He said he was told he was not going he to die. He was forgiven, yes. Yes, he, he was, was forgiven. forgiven. Without Jesus dying for his sins, without making a sacrifice himself. He was forgiven. So why however, can you not do that now? He was forgiven. However, I'm trying to tell you again. Even if he was forgiven, it, it, it doesn't mean that he did not experience death. God, the truth. So why did God say you're not going to die? Huh? Your Bible says he's not. He said you're not going to die. He doesn't have the He's not going to die. I mean, he's not going to perish. Did he perish? No, he didn't and perish, but he, he still repented. experienced death. Because he repented. But no, why did... No, but, but that's my point. So you see, that's one of the... It's so intriguing to me with Jesus, about your without, God. Without believing Jesus died for your sins, are you going to perish? What I'm saying to you... Are, if, are, are you going to perish without believing Jesus died for your sins? In fact, what it says, the words of, of Christ are... If you do not... In, in fact, it's, a, it's from the, the same knowledge that in Quran about Christ, because you believe not, and we have Gnostic knowledge of Christ and Mary, it says, whoever does not believe in my cross will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So whoever doesn't believe that Jesus died for his sins is going to perish, right? He's yeah. Did Nathan believe that? You're talking about Old Testament before Christ incarnating to the world. Why? Okay, so I must. Why is it that in the Old Testament yeah. people repented without yeah. anyone yeah. dying for their sins? Yeah. God, God didn't come down as a man and die for their sins and they were forgiven. Okay. And now all of a sudden, God. Huh? I mean, huh? This, is, this, is, this is a one-time event. No, but okay. Even if it's one, even if it's one, except if it's the only one person, let's say. Yeah. 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 Still, I ask you, did did Nathan die? And you say yes. What do you mean by die? Die. What do you mean by die? Then experience death. But what do you define death? Because yes. that we, that our body will expire and we're no longer in the physical state. Yeah, he did. Yes. Yeah. So he did. So experience death. Yeah. Whoever experiences death yeah. is already by default. It's already part of the abyss because okay. we experience death. So before we can call, I would call ourselves children of God. Actually, first we're children of death because the angel of death knows you and will collect you and will collect, and will collect me and will collect me. Heretic, that's it. Uh, heretic. Heretic. No, I, 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 are you saying? Are you saying that you're not going to die? Yeah. Are you saying I'm not? I'm going to die. I know. I know it. So what I'm saying, the angel of death would collect us. Therefore, and with the angel of death would collect us. What do you think is going to happen? So it's referring to a spiritual death. Would you agree? No. No. Actually, no. It actually speaks about the physical. Uh, uh, physical it's about spiritual meaning but he did, he did physically like die he would still live but he did physically die he would physically die exactly so then this is a lie Wait, so what it's a lie then no, it's not. You said it's talking no. about physical death. Nathan I just told you the holy prophets, wait, wait. the holy prophets of Old Testament, wait, my, my they friend, were all my, alive, my, but my still they were my, in a my, base. My friend, my friend, you said this is referring to a physical death. Nathan physically died. Yes. So if the Lord told him he's not going to physically die, and he did, then the Lord lied. It doesn't say physical death. You said that. Say physical death. He, he said it. He said it. No, what I'm no, saying is he did say that. He did. No, what I'm saying is he's not going to die spiritually. I said, is it referring to? Is it? I said, is it referring to? Spiritual death, and you said no, physical. Exactly. No, no, no. What exactly. I'm saying to you, hear me out, because maybe there was a confusion. Hear me out again. No, but you. What I'm saying, most. what I'm saying to you, physical death is a one thing. Spiritual death is another thing. And what kind of yes? death is it referring to? They're two different things. So we're not going to die. They speak about spiritual death. It's not going to die because holy prophets, yeah. the holy prophets of yeah. Israel, they all experienced death. Yeah. Therefore, so including physical, Adam, including a a Adam. Death. Yes. So, so they all experienced no, death. death. Therefore, they're all still in abyss because they experienced death. It's not saying, well, it's through it's through saying Christ's saying Christ's sacrifice. If I'm in an abyss, is that spiritual death? Huh? If I'm in an abyss, is that not a spiritual death? If you're in spiritual death, if you if if you if you if you're in abyss, yeah, it's a spiritual that death. That means you no longer can overcome death. Is it not a spiritual death? Yes. No, hear me out. You're asking questions. If you in a, uh, I'm answering your question. If you if, if if you are in the world of the dead, yeah. you no longer can overcome it. Here in the physical world, you can overcome your mortal state by renouncing yourself and accepting the divine. That the divine in fact showed us the way how to overcome it but however if it makes sense or doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense because well, of course it makes sense if you believe jesus died for your sins you're still going to die yeah, more totally someone that is subject to death. What I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, if, what I'm saying to you, is, I, I don't understand. I, I don't, I don't understand. That's why, listen, you don't understand. We're trying to let's be objective again. Uh, you see, the whole concept we're having is, is how do we place, how do we place Quran, yeah, and it's a rightful place. Yeah. And then, right, if we think about it, since your God guarantees you heaven, right? 
They say you go to Kevin, right? Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. And guarantees you so lots of women, lots of virgins, and other things. Yes. Yes. But does your God tell you about how the human being was created yes. regarding? Yes. Regarding your wife? What do you mean regarding my wife? Regarding your wife. Would you, would you, you see in Christianity, we understand that man was created as a man and woman, as yes. a husband and wife. Yes. So do, does the Quran speak about the husband and wife as creation as one? Jesus sacrificed himself. What do you mean by creation as one? One. That, 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 in fact, that, 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 that a man is a woman. That, that, no, that the true husband and true wife were initially one. They were separated, which speaks about the rib and so on. On, yeah, how the woman was created, but which was initially part of a, of a, of a, of a man, and then because split, and, and one day the true husband and true wife will be again together. Do you have that in the Quran? That a man and a woman were created as one, one yes, separate and they were separated and would become one again. And that's the same for every person. That's in the Quran. No, no. You don't have that. No. But you have concept that every man will be granted many women. Yeah. 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 So what happens? No, so no, you're saying also, that there's to every man there's let's say there's, there's 70 whatever so yeah. So if you if, if I look at it, you have to ask yourself. That's my question. So here's a God who offers you things yeah. without you doing anything except you have to agree to everything that this God says. No, that's what you guys believe. No, your God. No, we have no, to you follow. Just what, to Allah. No, no, no. I, I really didn't. Okay, the Christians believe that you don't have to follow no law. If you look in the Book of Corinthians, okay. If you look at the book of Corinthians, the book of Hebrews, you guys believe that you're not under no law. We as Muslims believe in a law. We follow a law. So we do not believe that you can just go into heaven. You by follow the law of your God. Yes. Of your God. We have a Sharia law. Yeah. No, no. I'm not asking about Sharia law. No, but you, you said to do me. Do you follow the, the... Yes. Do you follow the... the do you follow... Uh, uh, if, your, if your God asks you, submit to my will yeah. and I'll do everything for you. You, you said to me that it's gonna you go to heaven and you're gonna have 70 virgins, yeah? Yeah, why, yeah. why, did you, why did you keep bringing up virgins? No, just I'm just saying, no, forget about it. What I'm saying, I'm not yeah. trying to make a show here. What I'm trying to say is this that if so all you have to do is submit to a master yeah. and everything will be taken care of. Yeah. When in Christianity we're taking things upon ourselves, we by renunciation of our needs, our wants, we have to do that as well as Muslims. No, you don't. Yes, you do. No. Okay, okay. The, the Muslims don't have desires for, let's say, women. Do you believe that you have a true No, I, I asked the question. The Muslims have a desire, let's say, the Muslim men have a desire for women. I don't know. You have to ask Muslims. I I, every single man has a desire for women. Women or... Uh, am I allowed to act on it as a Muslim? Okay, let me ask you something. You and I are men, yes? Yeah. Have you been in love? Huh? No. Ha you haven't been in love? No. Okay. I don't talk if, to women. So let me tell you something. If you, you see, that's the whole thing. Maybe, again, maybe your God... No, but you said hold on, that... Hold on, I want to say something. Hold on. Maybe your God has robbed you from the concept of a love is. That's why you've never I, been in love. I don't talk to you women. Seem like, you seem like a mature man, I, I don't, and yet you've never been in love. I don't I've talk. been in love, I've been in love, and I am in love, and I'm telling you right now, I understand that, that love is something that is essential part of me as being with a woman that I love. It's essential for my existence. For me, let's say so. And what's the difference between so us? If, so, I tell you, if, if, someone, if somebody would tell me, I will give you 70 women, or I give you one true woman that I truly love, and I know women, and I tell you, you know what? After a while, it becomes having too many women is boring. I, I it's boring. I, it's like I, being in a factory I, I turning up. I, I don't understand where the conversation is going. The conversation is about your God, that your God does not give you a facility to love, let's say romantically. Where did you get that from? No, you told me you've never been in love. I never, so because I've never been in love, that means God doesn't give us a facility to love. Well, because if, if, because if, the reason I'm saying it is because your God does not offer you a wife. Your, your God is offering you 70 women. Are, are Muslims not married? Huh? Do you, have you not met a Muslim that are married? Well, that's a, I don't want to go to concept of, of Muslim marriage. No, but you're saying to me that God, but because I personally have not been in love, uh -huh. you're telling me yeah, that... I'm speaking to you. Yeah. But, sir, with all due respect, that doesn't make any sense. Look, you say, you, you say you're coming from different God. Yeah. So here you are standing as a, uh, representing a different God. Yeah. And let's say when I say to you, for example, yeah. that to me love, yeah, yeah. is essential part for my existence. Yeah. So for example, without yeah. love are you gonna die? 
no, without love. Are you gonna cease no, to exist? Without without love, I'm gonna I'm gonna feel dry. Are you gonna, gonna feel, are you gonna cease to gonna, exist? Gonna, gonna uh, are you gonna cease to exist? No, uh, no, I'm gonna have lousy existence. Are you gonna cease to exist? No, I'm gonna have lousy existence. Are you going to cease to exist? I won't. But so it's not an essential part of your existence. It is ex it's essential. I tell you why. Are you, because it makes a difference when I sit with a woman that I love and let's say we share a meal. I'm having a really good time. If I sit with a woman that I don't love, okay, or and, and so on, I feel like I'm wasting my time. I, I and yet I'm existing. I don't get the point, though. The point is very simple. It's not. That, yes, listen. The point is very simple. For the Christian man, listen. For the Christian man, yeah. we understand that yeah. a unity, like let's say unity through love, is yeah. essential. Yeah. To you, for example, it's not. So we already can identify that your God, in fact, does not see love as an essential part of your existence. No, because we not offer you seventy women. Why do you? So what? It's what very simple. No, 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 no. It's, it's very simple. Like Can't you understand that I being with God, go, to go to heaven means to have your fulfillment. Point. I don't under. You know, I, I, with all due respect, here, yeah, I don't, okay. I don't, I don't think the conversation is going anywhere because I, I don't understand the point. The, the point is to identify no, I, who I, is your God. I, I don't understand the point. You're married to Christ, huh? You know, like when you die, Christ becomes your groom and you're the bride of Christ. So you're no longer married to your wife, but you become married to Christ. No, that's Christ not correct. In fact, the, the, I, the groom of Christ is you. It's, it's written. It's written. That's written in the Book of Revelation. I, is the New Jerusalem. I, I, that's, 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 I appreciate the conversation, but I don't think it's going anywhere. To be honest, yeah, I appreciate yeah. it. Though, no, no, I, listen. I wanted to identify. No, I, 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 I don't think it's going to go anywhere. But I appreciate the conversation. Yeah.